Fred Lewis's son Christopher has a poor attitude that's antagonized the rest of the crew. Now, Fred is trying something radical to get Christopher back in line. I hate to tell you this, but I asked Tony if, if you can come over here and shadow over there for some boot camp. And he said yes. You know, you may not understand everything Tony says. Just nod and laugh. Tony! Hey guys! So what you're trying to do is ponder off your problems to me? <laughs> I want you to make it clear to him he doesn't know everything. He'll be free labor for a few days. Trial by fire? If that's what you want to do, you can hang it out for a couple of days. That's fine. Yeah. Make that work. Oh, I appreciate it. I don't that. know if he wants it, but I do. <laughs> no special treatment. We can drive on a rock truck. Oh, some dirt. Pretty good deal. I think you're going to be in the old dredge house, because I think main camp's pretty full. Tony's son, Kevin, shows Christopher his home for the next two days. I look at Tony as a really good ally to have and a really good friend to have and a really good mentor. I need Christopher to understand he's not the know-it-all and he's here to learn. My home sweet home for a couple of days. At California Creek, Fred Lewis's crew is a man down. Right now I've got Christopher over at Tony Beats, uh, hopefully getting a pretty good lesson. A little worried that he's going to say something he shouldn't and piss somebody off. 50 miles away on Paradise Hill. Oh, I'm tired of yo. Tony Beats puts Christopher. I hate being awake this early. On rock truck duty. More of a night person. It's just rough. <laughs> Oh, is everyone leaving? Okay. I came from the bottom up, so to speak. So whatever I ask these people to do here, I can do myself. This truck is that kid in. Tony loads pay into rock trucks headed for the trauma. Chris D. Gabby, Chris D. Gabby. You talking to me? We got a life one, hello? Hey, I hear you want to be a gold miner. What the is the matter with you? It doesn't all happen all by itself, believe me. OK, back it up, Chris. Give it Keep her coming, keep her coming. Crooked there, but forward and then come back straight. Push the around, get it over there, please. Yeah, Tim, if you want to come in square with the pile like he's telling you, if you just look in your beard, you line your box up. It's like they say, it's not for everybody, right? Just because his dad says he's a good kid, that don't mean all my wife says that about my kids, too. Okay, then you stop right there. Next time, get right beside the other one, okay? I mean, it's not that difficult driving a rock truck. Tony needs each driver to do 15 trips per hour. It takes me about five minutes to get there, dump a load, and then drive back. Get a truck in here, give her. Did he just honk at me? Yeah, he did. Let's go, let's go, let's go. People are getting annoyed very easily. He cannot hold up production, you know what I mean? I 
I stopped counting how many loads I've done. So I think I'm on around like load, like 15 maybe. Like Tony's been doing this for, for a long time. It's intimidating because like he knows his shit and I don't know anything. Oh, he wants to be a good old miner like me. Or good what? I can tell you one thing. That ain't gonna happen overnight. Ah, I see. Hey, can you back up a little bit more? Yeah, I can. I see. Back the truck up a bit, please. There you go. That's good. How's it going, man? Not too bad. How was the uh, rock truck yesterday? Fun as it can be. Next generation is gonna have to do things too, right? If you can help them with that, hey man, that's a plus. Christopher's now graduated to the excavator, where he needs to remove tailings. Hey, Cody. How's it going, Kev? This is Chris. We're gonna get him to run the uh, 460 for you for a little bit. Okay. Excavator operator Cody Russo. We gotta show him what's what. Yeah. Make sure we don't hit anything. Has been on the Beats crew for three months. Have fun, guys. Sounds like fun. Let's get it done. Ugh. I heard yesterday. We were having some troubles. Tony's brutal. So what's it like working at the Beats claim 24-7? You know, when Tony's in a good mood, I'm in a good mood. Yeah, That's how often is that? Tony's actually in a good mood most times. I've, I haven't seen Tony angry yet. As long as you're doing your job and keep it quiet. I've seen him pissed off and swearing a lot, but never seen him angry. Oh, don't hit the trauma. I swear to Tony will kill us. Kill me, not you. Wow. I'm trying to stockpile your pile as best as I can, but I'm kind of it up. It's tough. As long as you don't stockpile it out of reach, I don't care. I'm going to put it over that berm. <laughs> Appreciate you taking that time. Yeah, bud. Hey, Chris, how she goes? How's it going, man? Now, if I can give you one bit of advice, I'd say a lot of folks think you gotta be a real hard ass all the time to get the results you want, but really, most of the time, that ain't true. If your crew respects and likes you, they're gonna do more work for you of better quality with a lot less complaining. You gotta give them a little bit of trust and you're gonna get a lot more back in return. After two full days at the Beats claim. I'll catch you later, yeah. Christopher's eager to head home. Beats boot camp. Um definitely a different environment for sure versus back at my own claim. Being out here, I've been learning stuff. I'm pretty aware I need to change my attitude. I actually got out of the army early on my contract because I f***ed up a couple times. And I was down bad after that. I kind of felt like I had let a bunch of people down. I'm disappointed in myself and I will be disappointed in myself. Uh, until the day like I die. It's, that, it's a weird feeling when you're like only 21 and it feels like your whole life's falling apart. Fred reached out to me and was saying like, hey man, listen, like I need guys up here and I know you need help. So, I'd, I'd feel really if I let Fred down after all that he's done for me. 